For CNN Travels Unlock Italy for insider information on Italy's favorite destinations and lesser-known regions to plan your ultimate trip. We'll also get you in the mood before you set off with movie recommendations. Reading lists and recipes from Stanley Tucci. CNN. Venice has finally revealed details of its entrance fee, making it the first city in world to charge a daily visitor fee. From spring 2024, visitors the floating city will have to pay 5 euros enter on busy days if they don't spend the night there. However, this is not a permanent move yet. According to Mayor Luigi Brugnaro, who shared the news on Twitter X, the Venetian authorities committed to a 30-day experiment. Instead of working for a calendar month, Officials will distribute paid days throughout the year and select days that are predicted to be busiest. In the statement made by the council, it was stated that the aim is to deter daily tourism in certain periods. He added that an upcoming decision will set the dates when the fee will apply. Excursionists over the age of 14 entering Venice's old town will have to pay. Exemptions are available for local residents. Commuters those have a second home in city and have paid local property tax. As well as tourists who spend the night in municipality those attend sporting events. Those with exemptions will still need to register online to book travel. The move lags behind what was previously suggested. Since 2019, city officials have been discussing a contributo di accesso on a variable scale from 3 euros to 10 euros for all day trippers throughout the year. This initial 10 euro figure has now been temporarily reduced to 5 euros. Those who only visit small islands of the lagoon will also be exempted. This means that, according to current statement, tourists visiting only Burano or Murano would not have to pay if they went there directly. But most visitors from outside the Veneto region pass through the city to reach them so they will still have to pay. Simone Venturini, a member of city council responsible for tourism, said in a statement that changes were made to the original proposal, taking into account opinions of citizens and opposition councillors. We position ourselves as global pioneers, recognizing urgency of finding a new balance between the rights of those who live work and study in Venice and those who visit city, he said in a statement. We need innovative management of the footfall stream to prevent day-to-day -day tourism on certain days. And at certain times, tourism management is a priority for the future of our city, which will always remain open to all. We need balance on busy days. The number of visitors can be five to one more than residents. Stefano Mazzola he added that money taken from entrance fees will cover cost of reservation system. But not more. Previously, it was hoped the money could be spent on improving facilities infrastructure for residents who have to deal with garbage cans and overflow.